So, so with the release of Legends Arceus, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are wondering, is it possible to get your hands on the regular Sinnoh starter Pokemon? The answer is yes, but you will have to have unlocked up to the coastal area first to get all three of them. But today I will be showing you where you can easily get your hands on all three of the original Sinnoh starters. So to start with, in order to get your hands on Turtwig, you'll need to head to the very bottom right hand corner of the Crimson Mirelands, and you'll see that there is a little lake there, and pretty much at the back of the lake is where you can find Turtwig and his evolution Grottle. All of the Sinnoh starters in this game will spawn next to a lake, so it does make them quite easy to find overall. Just little Turtwig right at the back, and then you can have a chance of getting a rare spawn for their evolutions nearby. In order to get your hands on Chimchar, you'll need to head to the Obsidian Fieldlands and then head on over to Ramanus Island, which is roughly in sort of the bottom left hand corner of the map, but you can find Chimchar right in the center of this island. And once again, you can also find the super alpha version of Infernape very close by as well. And finally, to get your hands on Piplup, you'll need to head to the Cobalt Coastlands and make your way over to Islespi Shore, which is very close by to the Spring Path. But you'll see that there is a lake towards the very north left side of the map, and that is where little Piplup is going to spawn. And down on the beach, you can also get your hands on that Alpha Empoleon as well, so you can easily get both of those. But that is how you can get all of the starter Pokemon for the Sinnoh region very easily. Again, they are guaranteed to spawn there and I believe that they spawn at any time of the day. So all that you have to do is just reset the spawn and then you should be able to get as many of those bad boys as you want.